Welcome yeah. back. Now, 35 years ago, rock group Fleetwood Mac released an album called Rumours. They thought it was good, but they can't even imagine just how huge that album would become. You can go your own way. Go your own way. You, you make love fun. It wasn't your set, it was the vid. Please welcome one of the living legends of British rock music, Mick Fleetwood. <laughs> did, it fi did it feel groundbreaking at the time? Had you any idea of how sort of what much was, influence it uh, had? Uh, what was groundbreaking for us was actually being able to do it, because we were in a bit of a turmoil, if mm. uh, most people are aware of, but groundbreaking uh, after the fact, yeah, just unbeknownst, unthought of, that could possibly be that enormous and successful, and in truth, we're blessed with uh, it still having a life of its own even now, you know. Well, it is, and you're about to tour. I mean, we're going to, God willing, see you all again. God willing, and then I have a heart attack on the set. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> so, in the UK as well as elsewhere, so... All over the world, yeah. So when are we going to see you here? In uh, September, October, um, all over Europe, and obviously our homeland here. Now, Fleetwood Mac is an English band originally, if you yeah. uh, remember. I do remember. <laughs> you don't live here now, where do you live now? I live in Maui, uh, in Hawaii. Gosh. Yeah. We're ever so sympathetic, bad, yeah. aren't we, really? And you must miss the rain. I, yeah. <laughs> and the cold, I, didn't well, it? Well, coming in, it was all snowy and white, and I actually, uh, it, it was actually a cool, nice feeling, returning home to that. You really were that. coming home. And then the rain came, that wasn't so cool. <laughs> but do you look at rock bands now and think, goodness me, it's changed, or have some things not changed at all? You look at the scene now. Well, I, I think the business has changed, you know, and, and the sad thing, uh, which doesn't apply to us, which is a blessing that we, we managed to prevail in our own world and the, and the business itself nurtured who we were. Uh, things come and go so quickly these days. It, mm -hmm. I, I feel it's a shame for some of the artists that have the ability to stay around and the business itself, the music business, doesn't really have that notion to do that. I find that really sad. Too impatient for profit, is that it? Simple as Who that. Who knows? I think there's a lot of people in ivory towers and stuff like that have different notions, and things have all sped up. So if, if you don't sort of sustain at a certain level, they, they, they go on to a new soap powder, you know. Do you think there's as much raw talent out there today as there was? I, I'm sure there is, yeah. And, uh, you know, the, the good part of, of the internet is... The music business for a while was you know, a little bit defocused and quote struggling mm. from the traditional in the traditional sense of the word while it made a transition but i think the lovely thing about that is a lot of artists now take it upon them themselves to in fact a lot of uh, artists are making it on their own by <laughs> doing that and it's not as easy now as it was though because all the bands in a way all but the majority in those days in the 60s and 70s made it on their own you know they bashed on doors and they they performed and people listened and they came now they've kind of got to be on a reality tv show generally or they don't get heard well not strictly speaking that it could be but they, they also can go on uh, on to create their own websites yeah. and a load of uh colby calais for instance who's the daughter of uh, ken calais who produced a lot of our albums she just made it on her own and she's a huge star now you know, and you can get these great people. rolling audiences by word of mouth coming onto this enormous yeah. amount of hits uh so it's just a, a changed yeah. situation and again we're blessed that we have uh a body of work that still prevails mm. and we have uh also the blessings of of a really loyal fan base that is actually growing and a lot of young folks are entering that, that arena, which is great. Do you get as big a kick out of playing now as you did then? You're going to have oh, to, sure. really. You do? Sure. Yeah. And I, I, we were all active. John's, John McVie, the, the bass player in Fleetwood Mac, is it maybe ultimately the only sensible one. He, he lives in Hawaii, too. Uh, 
and he loves to, to sail and fish and so forth. The rest of us, uh, Stevie this last couple of years has been very active, uh, touring all over the world, and Lindsay's done a one-man show in the States, and, and I play a lot in my funky, mm. weird bands in Hawaii, <laughs> so we keep busy. Do you take your children to see rock concerts now, and if so, who do you take them to see? Who do you admire? Uh, I took uh, the girls, my, my twin daughters, who are nearly 11, to see Justin Bieber in, in Honolulu. Biebs. The yeah. Biebs, yeah. yeah. I thought he was a great entertainer, you know. Uh, I, I, he knew what he was doing and, and was really professional and I have to say I, I, I enjoyed it. That street strikes me, and, certainly, and I do occasionally go to pop concerts, surprisingly, but it's the people who give you value for money. And going and seeing Rod Stewart, for instance, who does 27 numbers without stopping, there you go. playing the ones you want to hear there and his go. modern stuff. But that's, isn't it really giving the public what they want and then not shortchanging them? And I think there's a tendency with a lot of young modern acts to just, oh, I'll give them a couple of numbers and that's it. Then they're going to hear my new stuff. Oh, and... I, I agree. Less, lesson well learnt. I, I don't know how long we got here, but... Uh, when we made Rumours, we'd come off a really successful album, which for us was huge. We saw like four or five million albums with the first album of Stevie and Lindsay, Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac. So we made Rumours with all the troubles we took to, to make that album what it was, including staying together and all unhappy and all that stuff. So we go on the road, we go like, wouldn't it be great to play the whole album from the beginning to the end? Die to death. And you know why? Point taken. Yeah. People are emotionally connected to stuff that they know, yeah. and we never did that again. Yeah. yeah. You know, which is a very presumptive thing. You you should. Uh, we're you know we are doing what we're yeah. doing selfishly, but we're we're entertainers, we'll and well. you should you should uh, do that. Well, it's the thirty fifth anniversary, unbelievably, of rumours. Yeah. Rumors. So we look forward to the tour. Um, bless your heart for coming. Great to talk Absolutely. about those days of music, ladies and gentlemen. Mick Fleetwood. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Legend.